Hello, welcome to Zhixing Mandarin. We are going to learn some native Mandarin in this class. You are welcome to ask me anything related to Mandarin. I will give you my WeChat and WhatsApp contact information at the end of the class. We believe the better fundamental knowledge can help you go further. As you can see here, the deeper the roots, the taller the tree. A good command of basic knowledge will help you learn faster in the advanced class. So don't be upset about the first simple lessons. They are actually important to guide you in this language. In the first section, we are going to learn many basic knowledge from the beginning. Now let's take a look at the agenda. In the first week, we are going to learn some basics of phonetic transcription, which is pinyin in Chinese. I have divided the basics into five days content and two days review. For students attending my online class, we will have the review and doing some exercises. For students watching these videos only, you are welcome to learn at your own pace. And hand in some homework to my WeChat or WhatsApp account. In week two, we are going to discuss the terms and the rules, which are the key to speak like a native. In week three, we will reveal the secret of writing. You will know how exactly the Chinese characters are built up and how to write them on your own. In week four. We will be learning some basic useful words in Mandarin. That is the basic agenda for our entry class here. After this entry class, we will be going to the median class, which we will discuss later. Okay, now let's go to our first class, the Pinyin basics, i.e., the phonetic transcription basics. Before we go into the details of our course, we need to have a big picture of what a syllable is made up of. The syllable is called pinyin in Chinese, i.e., the phonetic transcription. Among the components of a Chinese syllable, there is a term besides the initial and the final. Syllables with the same initials and finals. But in different terms, usually have different meanings. In this lesson, we are going to learn the first half of the initials. Now we are looking at the table of all initials here. Normally, we have twenty-one initials in total. Today we are going to learn the first half. But if you count, you will find twenty-three initials here. Why? You can take a guess first, and I will be cleaning this in later classes. Okay, let's learn the initials one by one. The first one is bo, bo. To pronounce bo, the lips are closed, blocking the airflow, and then the lips are suddenly released, allowing the airflow to rush out. The pronunciation should be light and short. Bo, bo. The next one is po, po. To pronounce po, the lips are closed, blocking the airflow, and then the lips are suddenly released, allowing the airflow to rush out. The pronunciation also should be light and short. Po, po. The next one is mo, mo. To pronounce mo, the lips are closed. The tongue is retracted. The airflow comes out from the nasal cavity. 
and then open the mouth with vocal cords vibrating. More. More. The next one is four. Four. The lips are closed. The tongue is rejected. The airflow comes out of the nose cavity. Then open the mouth with vocal cords vibrating. Four. Four. The next one is the the. To pronounce the, the tip of the tongue is pressed against the upper gums. Hold the airflow before suddenly releasing it. When the airflow is ejected from the mouth, it makes the sound of the, the, the. The next one is t, t. To pronounce t, the tip of the tongue is against the upper gums. After holding the airflow, the tip of the tongue suddenly releases the airflow, pulling it out of the mouth. T, t. The next one is n, n. To pronounce n, the tip of the tongue is against the upper gum. The airflow passes through the nasal cavity, and at the same time, the obstruction of the tip of the tongue is reopened, and the vocal cords vibrate. N. No. The next one is l, l. To pronounce l, the lips are slightly open. The tip of the tongue is against the upper gums. The vocal cords are vibrating, and the airflow flows from both sides of the tongue. L. Le. The next one is g, g. To pronounce g, the front of the tongue roots is against the soft palate to block the airflow, allowing the airflow to break through the obstruction of the tongue root and erupting into a sound. G, g. The next one is k, k. The front of the tongue roots is against the soft palate to block the airflow, allowing the airflow to break through the obstruction of the tongue root and burst into a sound. K. Ke. The next one is h, h. To pronounce h, the root of the tongue is raised, close to the soft palate, forming a narrow slit, and the airflow is squeezed out of the slit and erupted into a sound. H, H. Okay, that's the class for today. The homework for today is to pronounce the initials we have learned, and send me the audio file. For students attending the online classes, you should hand in the homework in the class group. For students watching this online, please add me on WeChat or WhatsApp. To catch instructions, see you in the next lesson.